The goal of this procedure is to isolate and identify clonal knockout cell lines generated by two types of CRISPR-Cas9-mediated genome editing. One method detects protein knockout caused by non-homologous end joining, while the other detects genomic perturbations generated by homology-directed repair. This method is particularly useful in the field of molecular biology, where generation of cell lines with genetic perturbations is an important tool in dissecting gene function. The main advantage of this technique is that it is a quick and relatively high throughput method that can be easily executed using basic molecular biology techniques. Non-homologous end joining introduces small deletions or insertions and are assessed by dot immunoblot, while homology-directed repair allows for larger and more precise perturbations and are assessed by colony PCR. This experiment uses T. rex 293 cells cultured in DMEM media supplemented with 10% FBS at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. Prior to transfection, plate the cells onto six well plates and include a well for an untransfected control. Grow the cells to approximately 70% confluency. Transfect the cells with 2.5 micrograms of total plasmid using a commercial transfection protocol. For transfection of cells without selection, use 2.5 micrograms of Cas9 sgRNA plasmid. For transfection of cells with selection, use 0.75 micrograms of Cas9 sgRNA1, 0.75 micrograms of Cas9 sgRNA2, and 1 microgram of homologous recombination template. Incubate the transfected cells and the untransfected control at 37 degrees Celsius.